Hi, I'm Kevin D. I'm the head of design at Evergoods. And today I wanted to introduce you to our new Civic Access Pouch 1 liter or CAP 1. Uh, this is a smaller pouch than our CAP 2, uh, but don't be deceived. Uh, I want to show you the profile here. It's, it's got really good volume throughout. It seems like a simple fold over pouch. We've put pleats in all of the corners uh, to give this a bit of volume. So although it's a small kind of streamlined item, it, it packs a lot of punch. Let's look inside. Uh, so it just, it just opens like a simple butterfly case. There's this really great magnetic closure, which we'll talk about later on. Uh, but the layout inside is really straightforward. You got two sides. Uh, zippered on each side. The zipper heads uh, land at, at opposite ends so that when the pouch closes they don't like clack into each other or make contact. Each pocket has two layers. Uh, on the top is this mesh layer that you can see through and then underneath that there's, a, there's actually a divider. These are just like really thin laminated dividers that give this pocket kind of two layers. Uh, so there's the, the thin part on top where you can see through and then behind there's more storage. Um, I've got this set up right now for kind of a typical, like if I was going to fly on an airplane. Uh, so I've got a couple of charging cords and an extra battery back here. Um, and then I like to just keep my headphones easy and accessible up front. So yeah, you can see these dividers. Uh, it just gives the pocket a little bit of organization or if you don't need that much organization, this divider can just hang out in the back and you don't have to use it. It's really thin and low profile. Um, and the other side is uh, basically the same construction, except that this pocket is divided right now then to make sort of a, a medium size and then a smaller size. So again, there's storage in the back. Uh, for the airplane, I've got a couple of masks and some wipes because you got to do that these days. Um, and then up front here, I keep my iPod in this little area. I've just got a little USB stick and like a little headphone dongle for iPhone in case I need it. Uh, and then right down the center, there's just a simple loop that holds a pen. Again, if you don't need it, it just hangs out in the back, doesn't hurt anything, um, but keeps a pen handy when you need it. In addition to airplane travel, I've got one of these that I like to use also like if we go on a road trip or if we load the kids up in the camper and we're going to drive for a bit to a campground. I, I like to just like have my pockets empty so we can be comfortable for long hours in the car. So I've got kind of like a road trip uh, set up also. Um, so, you know, I keep my masks and stuff in there in case we stop at a restaurant or somewhere that, that needs that. Um, I'll take my phone and just throw it in here. Um, if it rings, you can see through there and get at it. I'll take my entire wallet, just open it up flat, put it back behind here. Sort of a security area, nobody can see it, but a whole wallet's in there, so we're good. Um, earphones, again, if I just need to listen to music in the camper or take a call or something. So earphones go in there. Uh, I might have some change after being at the gas station or a restaurant, buying a candy bar, change goes in there. You can throw some receipts in there. I'll probably take a little bit less expensive pen in case I lose it. Got my pen, we're set. Uh, yeah, so then I'll just take this whole thing and just like throw it in the little side, side kind of map pocket in the car. And then this is basically like my pockets. Uh, in addition for the camping or for the airplane, I love to use our glow patch uh, that fixes to our logo right there. It's sold separately, but you know, then when it's dark out in the campground or if you're in the airplane and it's like dim lights because it's nighttime, you can always kind of find this thing real easy. Um, now that we've got it closed, let's talk about the exterior. Uh, this pouch uses a lot of uh, lamination and glue, so it gives it a really nice kind of firm hand. Uh, it, it just feels really good in the hand. It, it's it's kind of stout without being like really thick and bulky. It's very streamlined, but, but still has good firmness. Uh, this flap also is laminated and it, it, it features a couple of magnets. These are very special magnets. Instead of a single magnet in here that would have to like clap closed, like right in the center, this is actually made up of a series of a bunch of different magnets that are all just like ganged together in line with their polarities aligned. Anyway, w what that gives us is that this flap can remain flexible because it isn't one hard magnet. It's a, it's a bunch of little magnets. And then also the, it allows the closure to be variable. So if this thing is packed way out, uh, the flap doesn't have to get all the way to the, to the center of its, of its mating surface. It can go a little shy 
or it can go over and kind of like wherever you throw it down, it, it'll just kind of click closed. Uh, these magnets are really strong and they're quite expensive, but they're super nice. Uh, the whole body of the pouch is laminated as well. We sized this to be compatible with our other products. So it, it fits into the side pocket of half zip 22. There's a little loop on the exterior, so you can kind of fish your finger in there, just sort of pluck that out of there. It also fits in the front pocket of CPL 24. So compatible with other Evergoods products. Um, in addition, these little loops on the outside, like I said, you can throw a finger through there if you're pulling it out of a pocket. Uh, if I'm at a restaurant or something, I might just like take my keys and keep them there, like throw that thing on the table. Everything's kind of together. And then when I leave, everything comes with me. Um, there's also like a center area that kind of fits your hand. If you were gonna like walk down the street, you could just, you could kind of carry this a little more like a clutch, feel secure about it um, in your hand. So we're using this 420 denier balanced weave nylon that comes out of our mountain line. Uh, it just makes the surface like slick and smooth so that it's easy going in and out of backpacks and pockets. And in this product, we're, we're using a lot of new materials and gluing techniques to keep this product lightweight, and thin and give it structure, but without bulk. Um, way less bulk than if we had packed it with foam or something like that. Um, so that is our Civic Access Pouch, one liter.